Hi, uh, this is Vinod Suman. Today I am going to talk on um, important uh, uh, topic that is why the activation function is needed for the neural network. And anyone who uh, start uh, uh, getting study in the deep learning, this is the first person strike in his mind. What is the activation function? How suddenly it comes? Because while studying the machine learning, and they have never heard this terminology activation function. But the, the moment when they start the study of the neural network, deep learning, this is the first person strike his mind. So I thought um, I would speak um, uh, about the activation functions. So um, that's why I'm going to talk on the activation function, why it is needed. But before explaining the activation function, uh, let me take one step back and uh, 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 talk about the uh, what is the neural network. So. If you see the neural network, neural network is a very powerful machine learning mechanism which basically mimics how a human brain learns. So uh, keeping this idea in the mind and the deep learning is the replica of this the, um, concept. So um, uh, if you see the human mind, we have millions of millions of neurons are connected to each other. And one neuron gets a signal, uh, they decide, uh, or they compute something to then pass to the another neurons. And that's why any human uh, brain uh, get the ability to learn something new by this process. So to get the better idea how it works, let me uh, uh, show the picture of the one uh, individual neuron. So this is the picture of the one neuron. Here if you see, uh, this is the input antenna or receiver by which neurons get the signal. And this is the um, cell body where they process, and this is the axon uh, by which they um, propagate or pass the signal to the another neuron through the some uh, terminal antennas. So this is the particular structure of the one neurons. And uh, so the moment they get any signal uh, through the dendroid, it crosses it, and then uh, decide whether I have to pass this signal to the next neuron or not depend upon some criteria. So this is very important thing. So uh, they, they do not just take the signal and pass into the another neuron. Then there is no any benefit. They have to manipulate, they have to calculate, and they should take some decision. So and how this is the, uh, and this is the way how the neuron works. And we, uh, we try to replicate the same um, uh, concept in the, uh, our neural network. So what is a neural network? So if you see, uh, we have the input layer and we have the final output layer and uh, then uh, um, in between we have the many hidden layers. So through the input layers we pass all the input features, they process it in the hidden layers and they give on the final output. So we, we have the same um, uh, terminologies. So uh, and here also we will, uh, uh, in this uh, in here, we will do the calculations and pass the signal to the uh, next layers. But as I having said that, the moment they take the signal, they process it and they decide it. Whether I have to pass this signal, we have to fire this signal through the axon to other signal or not. So this, this job should be also do, uh, also should be happen in the neural network. And this is exact, the job is done by the activation function. So activation function uh, take the decision whether I have to pass this uh, signal to the other, uh, next neuron or not. So uh, if you see what is the activation function actually in the, by the definition, activation function are the extremely important feature of the artificial neural network. They basically decide whether I have to pass this signal or not, whether I have to activate or not. So this is, um, this is the very uh, easy not cell definition of the activation function. They decide actually how, whether you have to shoot the computation value to the next layer or not. And, uh, um, and if you see, um, um, if you see the uh, uh, neural network, uh, what we used to do actually, we take the input and for the each input, you have the corresponding weight. So we multiply the input and the uh, weight and sum of those and on final add the uh, bias and 
then pass to the next layer. So those part is called the logit here. If you see the logit, the uh, multiplication of the input and the weight and the summation of it and the bias. So if you see this data is very big. If you do not apply any activation function on this logit, this data is going to be and then you pass from one layer to another layer. Computation is very high and it will be very difficult to find out any meaningful output from those those uh, tough uh, computation. So, uh, so we have to remove those values before sending to the other layers. So this is job done by the activation function. So before passing this logic to the next layer, we pass this logic to the some activation function. They modify the value, they remove those values and pass into the other layer. So this is the very basic uh, you know, function of the activation function. So, um, so no, if you, if I want to know from the mathematical point of view, what is the uh, use of the activation function? So, uh, actually, activation function does the non-linearity transformation uh, to giving the capability to learn the complex problem in the neural network. So, if you see. Uh, Without activation function, how the, the neural network is just a linear regression model. What is the linear regression model? In linear regression model, we classified some um, uh, inputs uh, based upon some uh, uh, slope, straight slope or the linear lines. So with this the functionality, we could not able to achieve uh, many complex problems because there is no any curve. So I, I have given the, uh, some uh, a picture here, if you see, here it was very easy to still the draw, the draw the line. But if you see in this case, we cannot, uh, uh, using the straight line, we cannot uh, differentiate between this dot and the star. We, we need some uh, curve. And this curve is the, uh, the very, uh, this giving the intelligence of the computation, the neural network to solve any complex uh, learning. So that curve must be there. And suppose if, if, if you are the rails, if there is no any curve, so what happens? There is no any activation function, so what happens? You take the logic from one layer to pass to another, and it will go so on. So we can achieve through the complete linear regression through the one layer. That is not any uh, required for the hidden layer in between them. So, and we are not going to achieve anything, the complex thing. It will just be a linear regression model to make to transfer those linear things to the non-linearity, activation function is required to solve the any complex uh, learning mechanism. So, uh, and uh, this is the one aspect. And the aspect, actually, uh, activation functions, if you have the non-linearity mechanism, we can represent any kind of functions with the neural network. And hence, neural network considered as the universal function approximator, means they can compute any function or the any process. Um, so in short, if you want to explain what is the activation function, so the main purpose of the activation function to introduce the non-linearity in the networks, so it would be capable of learning more complex uh, patterns. So it was the, um, uh, the activation functions. So let me uh, explain some important activation functions. So we have the sigmoid, also called the logistic activation function, and hatch, hyperbolic content activation function, where restricted linear unit and the soft max. Uh, let me explain in very short. If you see the sigmoid, um, what it does actually, this is the uh, function for the, this is the formula for the sigmoid. It converts all the values between the zero to one. So this is the zero here, and uh, uh, there is no negative concept here. So if the logit value is the uh, below the zero, it convert into the zero, and below the uh, it, if or the maximum value, it convert into the one. So they they uh, they they work on the zero to one. They uh, transform all the logit value between zero to one, and it is very good uh, to for the if you have the just two classifier, it's a very um, easy handle activation function in that case. If you see the ten h. 10H is also like the logistic, uh, uh, is also the uh, like the logistic sigmoid, but in the better way. Means the range of the 10H is the minus one to the one. If you see, I have uh, put the both uh, 
the of, of the sigmoid also the ten hench also so sigmoid if you see it is uh, uh, this from zero to one if you see the ten edge that is minus one to one so the benefit of having the minus one actually it capture all the negative um, you know, things also so uh, and that's why ten edge is the more preferred over the sigmoid mirror because it is a zero century we, we capture the negative part also so and third is the value and that is the most uh, 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 using uh, um, activation function nowadays. So it is the most used activation function in the world right now since it using almost all the CNN or the deep learning. If you see the concept of that, it takes the max value between zero and the actual logic. So if the any value below the zero, it will make the zero and otherwise uh, it will take the actual logic value. And we have some different kinds of the level also. And the third uh, is the softmax. Softmax um, is a similar kind of uh, sigmoid, but actually sigmoid um, is able to handle only the two cases. And but uh, and uh, but if you see the softmax, what they uh, do actually, uh, the output of the sigmoid is the same number of the uh, input. So suppose if you have the three uh, you know, classifier problems, the output also would be the three. But the thing is that uh, among the all the three, one um, output should have the higher probability. Actually, softmax um, calculate the probability of all the output and depends upon higher probability, we will uh, choose uh, pick one of the class. And if you see, uh, if you add all those three become the one because this is the probability. And uh, uh, and softmax, it's also the range uh, between the zero to one, but uh, in contradict of the sigmoid, it gives the uh, number of uh, output is the same as the number of classes. And softmax uh, produce multiple output, as I explained, and we always, uh, our most of cases, it used for the final layers. So it was the softmax, and uh, as we study the many um, activation functions, so, so how we can choose the, uh, right activation functions among all those what I explained. So uh, we need some logic or, or the some uh, some benchmark should be there. So we should be in which situation. There is no need thumb rule. So uh, however, depend upon the properties of the problem, the data or the graph, we might be able to make a better choice uh, 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 using this the uh, some parameters or the some thoughts first. Sigmoid function and the uh, combinations generally work better in the case of classifier. Having said that, uh, already I explained it. Sigmoid in the 10 h function uh, sometimes avoid because due to vanishing of the gradient problem. Once you study for the gradient um, uh, recent problems, then we come to know more detail about this. And the next thing is that Lehu function is gender activation functions and it is used most of the Cases. If you are not able to understand what I should use, so you can uh, get a start from the level. And if you encounter some dead neurons or something, you can go for the wiki levels. I didn't explain, I say we have some different kind of levels. And uh, always keep in mind that the level function should be used in the hidden layers. It is not prepared for the, uh, or the output layers. And the softmax is the very prepared for the uh, final output layers. Uh, thanks. Uh, that's that I have uh, today. And uh, the next video uh, I might be uh, sharing on the gradient descent on the neural network. And uh, I will be explaining how the back button, the forward progression works in the deep learning. And what is the mathematics behind that? And uh, happy learning. Thank you very much for watching this video. Thank you.